Hi everybody. Nice to see you again. This is what I have on me. So let's talk about the generator today. Yeah, it stays under this enclosure that I built. It, this is actually a lid that opens up. So I can put gas in the tank. Uh, I built this from scratch needs improvement here in the front I have to build either two doors or one big door uh, I'm not satisfied with the uh, the wire situation as you can see uh, I need to buy longer ones and run them put them actually in the thermal insulation of the house put them tuck them in right under there and then and then seal the insulation back in As you can see, um, this is the main input, which I'm not happy at all about, because uh, it's a screw-in situation, and the wires are all, all exposed. I put some tape on them. This is the output. Need, but TTS that means it starts automatically when the power cuts off. Uh, I've also made this installed actually this new connection box. So uh, on the bottom. We have the wire that comes from the street and this one goes into the generator on the main input and this one comes from the generator and goes up into the house through the wall. This is uh, my fuse for the electric gate and this I need to connect somewhere here uh, when they built my house they accidentally cut the wire and uh, a guy came in back when I didn't know any electric stuff and he ran a wire from the broken one up, to, up until here and I forgot to connect it I need to do that in the future yeah. Yeah, it's got um, this is very important automatic voltage reg regulator system which keeps 230 volts constant here you can charge the battery yeah I'm happy with it okay, and see you 
on the next video.